Okay, hi everyone. I'm going to do a pickups video, but before I do that, I thought that I would just show you something. We've sorted through our stock and we're just taking some things to the charity shop. And I thought it'd be interesting just to show the things that we are actually, you know, we've had listed and they haven't sold and that we're taking back. Um, <clears throat> so this bundle of Rainbow Magic, this is just, there's a lot of duplicates in here. There's about eight of them that are the same and you can't really get a decent bundle out of them we don't pick them up anymore so they're all just gonna go back to the charity shop i think these are actually um i don't think we bought them to resell but i read them and uh, so they're just going to the charity shop these three dvds here alvin and the chipmunks they've been listed quite a while and again uh they just haven't sold so they're just going back to the charity shop these mugs i remember at a time trying to pick up all of these sort of cadbury's ones and trying to bundle them all and i think jamie picked up this one and then like i say just stop picking mugs up and they may have been listed or sat unlisted but either way they're just i don't know like dead stock now so going back <laughs> i remember picking up this uh, the hole punch because I remember seeing Zaheer did really well on a hole punch and then I was like ooh <laughs> picked up like 50p or something and now I'm looking back thinking what on earth were you doing I remember funnily enough I remember picking this up for a pound uh, from one of our very first car boots and uh, really didn't know much about like selling CDs or anything still don't to be honest um, that didn't sell so that can go back this what is it the command and conquer i think if you can get it in the um the actual you know the, the bigger not these little plastic discs then they go for about five pound with free post but again had it a while and not sold so that can go as well this is just like a baby carrier that is got given to us by a relative and so that's going to go back we can't figure out the size of it so it's just going to go to the charity shops some vhs uh i bundled off a load and, and sold them a small profit um but these are the leftover ones we've kept one just for testing uh when we get a vhs player paid 50p for this at card boot um yeah I'm not selling don't know where this i'm assuming this has come out of a huge bundle because i don't think we would have bought this but that's going back as well and again, I think this was from our very first car boot that we went to and paid one pound for that. Uh, and yeah, just uh, just couldn't sell it. So those are the things that are going to the charity shops. OK, so I said that I really wanted to start paying a bit more attention to like men's clothing. So let me sorry, let me just move that. Um, so, yeah, I. I, this is just from one charity shop that I went to. I just nipped up there for like 20 minutes and really went through the men's clothing and just tried to grab a few things. So I'll go through the men's first. Uh, I paid £4 for this and it's a men's gap, size large, just like a smart casual jacket smart casual jacket uh, I, I really don't know so you know I am just trying to learn here I'm gonna aim I think for about 15 to 17 on them it's quite hard to tell on completed because a lot of them have gone on auctions so yeah I'm gonna aim for that and hopefully the large size will help me out with that one just wanted to have a look yeah, it is uh, cotton there. So that's that one. And then I picked this up. It's just next, but I thought that someone might be interested in that because it's got all of the years of the um, European Championship winners on it. So that was just a pound. And it is, I think it's a size small, yeah, it's a size small, but I will go for probably about seven ninety nine plus postage on that one. I don't know what that means. Um, oh, this is a brand that I've been looking out for for a while. I've seen people doing quite well with like jumpers and t-shirts. Uh, they are men's we 
weird fish. Uh, and they're cord, cord trousers. They are a, um, a large and regular length. I paid £1.50 for them. And I think I'm going to try for about £15 plus postage on that one. So yeah, I'm quite glad. That's the first time I've picked up the Weird Fish brand. I was quite happy to see it. This one could be a bit of a fail, but I just remember this Nanny State label uh, from a few years ago. I ha I think that these were, like, um, not in collaboration, but part of, do you remember Penguin, with a little penguin on the chest there? I think they were part of that, and they were really popular, I think, for, a f you know, a few years ago, but now just not so much, so... Uh, it's a size medium. I paid one pound for it. I think I'm just gonna try and get five pound plus postage back on that because uh, it just uh, I think those penguins and the, this nanny state as well just seems to not be as popular as it was like six seven years ago. And this large, I just picked this up to give it a go. United um, Colors of Benetton. I've not research this so I don't know what to go to go for but I paid £1.95 for it and it is a large size let me just see if it says here I might have to do my own measurements on this one yeah I think I'm gonna have to do my own measurements to figure that out but yeah I paid £1.95 uh, I'm gonna have to research that and see what I get back on that one but it's that really you know just bright colour and so that's what I gave that a go uh, so I think we're all onto women's and kids' clothing now. I paid one pound twenty-five for this Marks and Spencer's um, Peruna cotton blend, just a tunic top. Thank you to all the people who have been watching videos and giving me um, hints and tips on styles and patterns. I've also been like researching them on Pinterest, which is a great way to figure out patterns and styles on like women's clothing it's uh it's really resourceful so yeah i paid one pound 25 for that and that one i'm going to put on for about 8.99 plus postage uh that is a size 12 and then i picked this up because sort of um i would say maybe like a dusky pink color uh and I paid one pound for it, but it's a size 20, so it's that nice large size with the pleats. It doesn't come with, I don't know whether it came with a belt or whether this is just belt loops for a belt, but just like a work skirt, perhaps it's quite long. So, uh, yeah, I paid one pound, and I'm gonna try probably for because I don't know what the brand is, I don't think there's a brand, I think it might be like. Um, vintage maybe if it's vintage then I'll have to put all the measurements in because the vintage sizing is different to uh, modern day sizing so um, yeah I'm probably gonna go for about 10 pound plus postage on that one and then I also picked up these Adidas these ladies Adidas trousers and they are size medium I paid £1.50. When I was researching these, the three stripes seems to be a real key word on that. So, um, and I'm going to go for about £15 plus postage on them. I don't know if these are, are 90s ones or not. Um, not so much these ones perhaps, but a few months ago, Kim Kardashian was wearing these like Adidas ones, but you know, with the poppers that went down the side and then they just went crazy popular on eBay and were going for ridiculous money. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, that's just worth noting. And then I picked up this, it's quite a strange, can you see that? You see here, it's a boy's coat. I think it's a boy's coat, um, but it's a kid's coat and it's like round here, which is very strange, like poncho style. Very, very um, strange coat. Uh, but yeah, so it's next, which you can't really tell by this label here actually, um, but it was one pound and size five. And for that one, I'm probably gonna go for about eight pounds plus postage. And then Mini Bowden, Mini Bowden, 12 years uh, with this little star 
um, print on them. That was one pound. I will probably again go for about eight pound plus postage. Barely anywhere. To the hems. I always put in like if it's a zip fly or a button fly. When I first started listing trousers, everyone would message me and ask, is it a zip fly or a button fly? So obviously that seems to be quite important to people. And then they had a load of CDs, but these were the only sealed ones. So I just picked these up. Um, they worked out about 33. It was three for a pound, so 33 p each. Uh, these will go up to Amazon. And there's an FBA seller there at the moment for about seven pounds. The rank is about 80,000. And in that category, I don't know off the top of my head how often that sells, but I've got um, the software that can tell me. So if it's a really slow seller, I might just bundle them on eBay. And then just some of Jamie's pickups. Uh, he picked up this Pog plush. It's got Pogman on there. He paid £2 for this. And he's currently got it listed for about... Uh, he's got it listed for about £18. I think he's only just listed it and it's come... Uh, it's got a watcher already on it. So, yeah, I think that will go. Pogs, if anyone remembers them from the 90s. And then this was like their little... I don't know. Little figure. And then he also picked up... And you're going to have to excuse me here because I don't know too much about them to be honest but he got these pop characters for 15 pounds the guy said they were new but um they're not uh, this was a facebook pickup so he picked all of these up for 15 pounds and you can see here like the boxes are all a bit bashed this one here, Penny and Sheldon, seem to go for really good money. Uh, I think I've seen a few of them, you know, in a new condition, going for about £50 plus each. And so I think he's gone for about £40, £45 on them because of the box, the damage to the box on them. So I don't know, I really, honestly, I'm just showing these because he's picked them up and I don't know much about them, but... Yeah, so he's gone for about £40 each on them. And then these ones, I think he's gone, I think these are all like about £15-ish. Again, don't quote me. Whatever that is, I don't know what that's from. Big Hero 6, I don't know what that is. Orphan Black, I think it's a TV show, but again, I don't know. I don't know what you do with these. I don't understand what you do with them. You just collect them? I'm not sure. And then the Minion from Despicable Me too. So those were some of Jamie's pickups. And just one last thing that just fell on the floor. I just wanted to show this as well. I thought this was a skirt at first. It's a monsoon and it's size 10. And it was just a pound. And they are actually like pleated trousers. Like really wide trousers. And only now when I was just about to do this video. Because I haven't listed these yet. I just noticed that it's been taken up at the hem, but they are quite loose, so I'm going to hope that I can um, pull them out and get it back to the way it was. Uh, and I think on them I would probably go about £8 and upwards, I imagine, again, plus postage. So yeah, just some pickups there. Uh, thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.